First of all, we want to think of the clarinet embouchure as being an inverted whistle. So we're going to roll the bottom lip over slightly the bottom teeth. And this is going to depend on the students. Some students have thicker lips than others, so you're going to have to find the sweet spot by working with the student. All right. Next, teeth are on top of the mouthpiece. Corners come in and down like a frown, so we don't want to pull back tight like this. And the chin is pulled down nice and flat. Now, the pressure is what is very different from saxophone, where saxophone has equal pressure all the way around. With clarinet, we want the most pressure on the top lip. And the reason that's so important is because it helps to keep space in the jaw. Clenching the jaw is where we end up cutting off the sound. So very importantly, we're trying to keep that pressure on top, corners, and then down, so keeping everything right where it needs to be there.